This is a video tutorial for the search section of Mimsy.com. Searching for titles can be done in multiple ways on the Mimsy.com website. One of those ways is to use faceted searches. If you would like to just see every single title in the library from A to Z, then actually you don't need to input any keywords at all. Simply click the refresh button. As you can see, there are currently 12,066 results at 100 results per page. To change pages, you can do that with the pagination bar. You can either drag the handle, or you can use the back page button, the forward page button, you can type in a new page number, or you can simply scroll over the pagination bar and click on the page number that you want to go to. To do an advanced search, enter a keyword, then click the refresh button to get results. If you would like to search for more than one word, simply enter that into the keyword search input field and then click the refresh button. If you would like to do a more advanced search, then you can use the advanced search options found here. One advanced search feature that you can do is to tell Mimsy whether you want to match any or all keywords when it searches for titles. So click on matching and you can see here that right now the site is set to match all of the keywords that are entered. So only movies with the word monkey and business will be found. If you would like to set it up so that any of those two words can be used to find titles, then click match any search words. This will find all titles that have the word monkey or business or both words, monkey business, in no particular order. Right now we have two results. If we click refresh and allow it to search for either or, then you can see we get a dramatically larger set of results. If you would like to only search in specific details, like the titles, synopsis, directors, or cast, you can limit, your, limit or expand your selection here. Right now I want to select none and then select cast. This will search only in the cast of movies. If I then enter an actor's name, and hit the refresh button, it will find only movies that Dustin Hoffman are involved in. If at any time you would like to reset your search form back to its defaults and begin a brand new search, simply click on the New Search button. This will automatically go through and reset all of your search values back to their default settings. If you'd like to limit the genre that you search within, you can do that here under From These Genres. As you can see right now, it's set to search in all 32 currently existing main genres. These do not include subgenres. If I only want to search in comedy, then I select only comedy. If I want to select comedy, horror, and foreign, I can do that. If I want to go back to selecting all, and then only deselect one or two, I can do that as well. If you'd like to search for movies that have a specific rating or a specific set of ratings, you can do that here. Let's say you have kids and you don't want them to see any search results that are above TVG or TVPG. We would hit select none, and then we would simply select the ratings that we want to include. If you'd like to limit the genre that you search within, you can do that here under From These Genres. As you can see right now, it's set to search in all 32 currently existing main genres. These do not include subgenres. If I only want to search in comedy, then I select only comedy. If I want to select comedy, horror, and foreign, I can do that. If I want to go back to selecting all, and then only deselect one or two, I can do that as well. If you'd like to search for movies that have a specific rating or a specific set of ratings, you can do that here. Let's say you have kids and you don't want them to see any search results that are above TVG or TVPG. We would hit select none, and then we would simply select the ratings that we want to include. 
If you would like to limit your search to a specific Netflix star rating range, you can do that here. We can go from 0 to 5 stars, so it searches for all ratings, or we can tell it that we only want videos that are 2.5 stars, let's say, to 3.5 stars. And there's our range right there. If you want to go back to searching for all, simply select the minimum and maximum ratings. You can also limit the number of years that you search for. Let's say I want to search for all movies that were released, theatrically released in 1984. Well, I can do that easily here. You can also do a movie range, 1974, let's say, to 1984. Generally, you're limited, though, from 1800 to the current year. That current year will increase as the calendar year changes. The default range is 1800 to the current year. If you would like to hide the advanced search options, simply click the advanced search options button again. Once you've gotten some title results, you can also change how they're viewed on the screen. Let's say I want to search by, by star rating. So I select star rating from the sort page drop down menu. As you can see, it starts from the lowest to the highest stars. I can then change ascending or descending order. So you can see now it goes from four stars back down to three. If you'd like to see your search history, simply click the search history button. This will show you the searches and the search settings that you used to get specific search results. If you want to remove an entry, simply click the Delete This Entry button. These entries are only saved during your current session. They won't be there the next time you sign in. These are only as a convenience so that if you've done several searches and you would like to go back to one or two of them, you don't have to remember the settings that you chose on the Advanced Search Settings form. And that's it for the Search tab.